It's an energy thing. In the height of the moment, I say assassin because that's what I feel like. And I'm going to take you out. I want that feeling. I think the name infiltrated into my psyche. If you wanted a rock and roll photographer, what would you call him? You'd call him Mick Rock. I hadn't done a lot of performance photography until David came along. I just thought, well, I'd be David Bowie, the first David Bowie, that's all. It was all designed to give people the idea. We don't know who he is, but he's got a personal photographer. He must be a big deal. Rock and roll nailed in that one shot. It was a complete revolution, and most people ignored it. New York, the Velvet Underground, a cold shiver went up my spine when you hit the stage. These guys, it's only the second time they've ever been in a photographic studio. Bingo, there's the cover. I never felt like a voyeur. I was always on the inside looking out. But I didn't stop to think about the implications of what I was doing. There's 50,000 junkies in New York alone, and they serve us on two. People often ask, when you nearly died, Mick, do you regret that I got myself into that state? Could it have been any different? And every time I ask myself that question, I say no. I always knew that this was the life I was meant to live. Ah. I'm like a, I'm like a thief in the night. Blang, 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 blang. I don't think I had a clue where I was going, but I was going to be going there anyway. So when did you have the time for all this, Mick? Well, I had never slept. If you don't sleep, you get about a bit. <laughs>